So we have mallow, we've got nettles, we've got hogweed leaves, we have dandelion leaves, and we also have burdock. So dandelion and burdock, they just go together, don't they? Now, the interesting thing is, if you dig up burdock, then you will get dandelion roots in with it. And I think that's why we initially used both those ingredients as a cough mi mi mixture, because they were both just living next to each other. Burdock has another use though. So it took, I think, a Belgian visitor to Britain, walking his dog and realising that every day he walked his dog, his dog would get these prickly things um, stuck to himself. So look how prickly they are. They're really, really, really prickly. So if it was me, I'd have just taken one of these and um, cut it out of the dog's fur or brushed it out. But no, this scientist had to go one better. What he did is he looked at this, these burdocks under a magnifying glass and he saw that every single one of these tiny little stems there has a little hook on the end. So it means that you can stick them together and they're actually, I'm pulling at this and it, it's actually really, really difficult to get apart. And he thought, what shall I do with this? And so he invented a kind of fabric um, which used the hooks to stick together and he called the fabric Velcro from velour and crochet. And the pattern for this stuff sat on a shelf for years and years and years until NASA came along and there was a space race between the Russians and the Americans. And he gave the patent of his Velcro um, to the American space race um, because they, they, the Americans needed something for the astronauts to wear in space, you know, to, to do their buttons up or whatever, and buttons aren't very sexy in outer space. Zips are just plain awkward, and Velcro did the job. So, in, isn't it brilliant to think that in a hedgerow near you somewhere is a plant that inspired the space race? And also makes a really good cough medicine.